customizing hotkeys. We can customize our own hotkeys uh, and have any keystroke do whatever we like it to do. Um, this is a little bit more on the advanced side, but to do this, we're going to come up to the uh, tabs, put the ribbon tab up here to tools. We're going to go to the options panel. In the options panel, we'll go to customize. And then in the customize, we can customize, uh, basically we can customize the ribbon, we can customize the keyboard, and we can come down here and we can have different categories. So we can say, oh, I just want to have the part categories. So anything about a part is listed here. So all the things we do regarding a part uh, is listed in this subset. And uh, this is the list box. Uh, we can reset all the keys back to its default. Uh, we can copy uh, anything to the clipboard. And uh, so we can import and export these things out. And uh, so essentially, you can come along in here and say, this one's E edits the form. And uh, so we can come in here and say, ah, you know, what do we want to do? Uh, and uh, we can we can really set up anything we we like uh, so we can come in here and and actually show them all if we want and remember this is essentially when I do control shift K I get a chamfer alright so you can change these to anything you like so you know um, if we go down to the H's for example uh, and then here we have a hole uh, I just went past it. So here I have the hole. If you don't like H for hole, you could type in HO. And so that way, you know, if that's what you want to do, you can have that. So you can just basically come in here and reset that. Now with all that said, I'm not, I don't normally recommend this. This is for advanced learning. Um, I recommend that you learn the existing uh, uh, hotkeys first and here's the reason why uh, you'll probably upgrade in the future to a newer version of Inventor and all this has to be carried over with it now that's possible to be done but it's a lot easier using what Autodesk designs in the program instead of what you design you are the designer of parts they are the designer of the software so I always recommend to stick with what they do unless you have a very good reason to do otherwise alright so once again uh, we want to go up to the tools tab we want to go to the options and we want to go to customize and we can customize anything about our ribbon or our keyboard uh, that we want to do